September 15, 2024, Kekakovic on the east side. Getting ready to head out. It's about 7.20 in the morning. It's already about 60 degrees. Supposed to get up close to 80 today, so it should be interesting. The trail starts out on the Centennial Trail. You hike that for a while, and then that intersects with the start of the Kekakabic Trail. This is the spot where my brother was able to get cell service and buy his fishing license. This is Mine Lake. And we might be on a reroute, I'm not sure. But it does give you a nice view up here. to Gabba Michigami. It's a nice little campsite, three small tent pads, fire grate right down by the lake. Pretty decent view for a hiker site. It turned 60 this year. So I've noticed it's a little bit harder to put on the miles, just a little bit. The knees hurt a little more and the hips and the back. But nothing that a couple of Advil can't take care of tonight. Day two here on Gabba Michigami. It's already about 67 degrees. The wind died down overnight, so it's gonna be another hot day out here on the Keck. after the bridge but then you get treated to this view I'm sure the camera doesn't do it justice how are you gonna land it though <laughs> that steep rock that's a, that's a decent smally Oh, it's a large mouth. Someone found an old moose skull here at the Strupp Lake. This is, I don't know, I think it's Strupp. Strupp Lake Campsite. to be a very old sign marking the campsite on Benizi. First campsite off the spur trail. It has not a been easy day to get here. With temperatures in the 70s, we had to take it slow and drink a lot of water. Actually not all that slow. But now we have an easy out in the morning. Just six more miles. This is the last vista. It's overlooking Pike Bay on Snowbank. I thought there used to be a sign here, but looks like there's been some blowdown. So maybe that wiped it out. Wednesday, 10 a.m. We have finished the keck. Just had three observations. The west side is a lot faster than the east side as far as pace of hiking. I had expected a lot of brush on the trail because it was such a wet spring, but it's actually pretty clear, so overgrowth and brush was not a problem. And best of all, 
I didn't have to shimmy underneath a single tree. We had a couple of climb overs, but did not have to get down and belly crawl under any trees, which might be a first. So that's it for the kick. I'm actually feeling pretty good. Knees feel good, hips feel good, back feels good. It's uh, almost like I feel 30 again. Let's see if that, <laughs> see how I feel tomorrow. But for now, it always feels good to spend a few days in the wilderness. Hungry Hippie Tacos in Grand Marais. The food here is really good.